The Ecumenical Patriarchate of Constantinople Greek, Oikomenikon Patriarchian Constantinopolios Oikomenikon Patriarchian Constantinopolios, IPA, Ecumenikon Patriarchian Constantinopolios, Latin, Patriarchatus Oikumenikus Constantinopolitanus, Turkish, Rum Orthodox Patricanisi, Roman Orthodox Patriarchate, is one of the fourteen autocephalous churches or jurisdictions that together compose the Eastern Orthodox Church. It is headed by the Ecumenical Patriarch of Constantinople, currently Bartholomew I, Archbishop of Constantinople. Because of its historical location as the capital of the former Eastern Roman Byzantine Empire and its role as the mother church of most modern Orthodox churches, Constantinople holds a special place of honor within Orthodoxy and serves as the seat for the Ecumenical Patriarch, who enjoys the status of primus inter pares first among, equals among the world. Eastern Orthodox prelates and is regarded by some as the representative and spiritual leader of the world's 300 million Orthodox Christians. The Ecumenical Patriarchate promotes the expansion of the Christian faith and Orthodox doctrine, and the Ecumenical Patriarchs are involved in ecumenism and interfaith dialogue, charitable work, and the defense of Orthodox Christian traditions. Prominent issues in the Ecumenical Patriarchate's policy in the 21st century include the safety of the believers in the Middle East, reconciliation of the Eastern Orthodox and Catholic Churches, and the reopening of the Theological School of Halki which was closed down by the Turkish authorities in 1971. The Great Church of Christ Christianity in Byzantium existed from the 1st century, but it was in the year 330 that the Roman Emperor Constantine the Great moved his residence to the small Greek town of Byzantium, renaming it Nova Roma. From that time, the importance of the church there grew, along with the influence of its bishop. Prior to the moving of the imperial capital, the bishop of Byzantium had been under the authority of the Metropolitan of Heraclea, but beginning in the 4th century, he grew to become independent in his own right and even to exercise authority throughout what is now Greece, Asia Minor, Pontus, and Thrace. With the development of the hierarchical structure of the church, the bishop of Constantinople came to be styled as exarch, a position superior to metropolitan. Constantinople was recognized as the fourth patriarchate at the First Council of Constantinople in 381, after Antioch, Alexandria, and Rome. The patriarch was usually appointed by Antioch. Because of the importance of the position of Constantinople's church at the center of the Roman Empire, affairs involving the various churches outside Constantinople S. Direct authority came to be discussed in the capital, particularly where the intervention of the emperor was desired. The patriarch naturally became a liaison between the emperor and bishops traveling to the capital, thus establishing the position of the patriarch as one involving the unity of the whole church, particularly in the east. In turn, the affairs of the Constantinopolitan Church were overseen not just by the patriarch, but also by synods held including visiting bishops. This pan-Orthodox synod came to be referred to as the Endemousa Synodos, Endemousa Synodos resident synod. The resident synod not only governed the business of the Patriarchate but also examined questions pertinent to the whole church as well as the eastern half of the old empire. The Patriarch thus came to have the title of ecumenical, which referenced not a universal episcopacy over other bishops, but rather the position of the Patriarch as at the center of the oikumeni, the household of the empire. As the Roman Empire stabilized and grew, so did the influence of the Patriarchate at its capital. This influence came to be enshrined in Orthodox canon law, to such an extent that it was elevated even beyond more ancient patriarchates. Canon 3 of the First Council of Constantinople 381 stated that the bishop of that city shall have primacy of honor after the bishop of Rome because Constantinople is the new Rome. In its disputed 28th canon, the Council of Chalcedon in 451 recognized an expansion of the boundaries of the Patriarchate of Constantinople and of its authority over bishops of dioceses, among the barbarians, which has been variously interpreted as referring either to areas outside the Byzantine Empire or to non Greeks. The council resulted in a schism with the Patriarchate of Alexandria. In any case, for almost a thousand years the Patriarch of Constantinople presided over the Church in the Eastern Roman Byzantine Empire and its missionary activity that brought the Christian faith in its Byzantine form to many peoples north of the imperial borders. 
The Cathedral Church of Constantinople, Hagia Sophia, Holy Wisdom, was the center of religious life in the Eastern Christian world. The Ecumenical Patriarchate came to be called the Great Church of Christ, and it was the touchstone and reference point for ecclesiastical affairs in the East, whether in terms of church government, relations with the state, or liturgical matters. Topic: <laughs> Prerogatives of the Ecumenical Patriarchate. Topic. In history and in canonical literature i.e. the Church's canons and traditional commentaries on them, the Ecumenical Patriarchate has been granted certain prerogatives presbya, which other autocephalous Orthodox churches do not have. Not all of these prerogatives are today universally acknowledged, though all do have precedence in history and canonical references. The following is a non-exhaustive list of these prerogatives and their reference points. Equal prerogatives to Old Rome Canon 28 of the Fourth Ecumenical Council, Canon 36 of the Quinisext Council The right to hear appeals, if invited, regarding disputes between clergy Canons 9 and 17 of the Fourth Ecumenical Council The right to ordain bishops for areas outside defined canonical boundaries Canon 28 of the Fourth Ecumenical Council the right to establish Stavropagial monasteries even in the territories of other patriarchates the Epanagoge, commentaries of Matthew Blasters and Theodore Balsaman Iconoclast controversy In the 8th and 9th centuries the iconoclast movement caused serious political unrest throughout the empire. The Emperor Leo III issued a decree in 726 against images, and ordered the destruction of an image of Christ over one of the doors of the chalk, an act which was fiercely resisted by the citizens. Constantine V convoked a church council in 754 which condemned the worship of images, after which many treasures were broken, burned, or painted over with depictions of trees, birds or animals. One source refers to the Church of the Holy Virgin at Blachernai as having been transformed into a fruit store and aviary." Following the death of his son Leo IV in 780, the Empress Irene restored the veneration of images through the agency of the Second Council of Nicaea in 787. The iconoclast controversy returned in the early 9th century, only to be resolved once more in 843 during the regency of Empress Theodora, who restored the icons. These controversies contributed to the deterioration of relations between the Western and the Eastern churches. Great Schism of 1054 Most of the direct causes of the Great Schism, however, are far less grandiose than the famous Filioque. The relations between the papacy and the Byzantine court were good in the years leading up to 1054. The Emperor Constantine IX and the Pope Leo IX were allied through the mediation of the Lombard Catapan of Italy, Argyris, who had spent years in Constantinople, originally as a political prisoner. Patriarch Michael I ordered a letter to be written to the Bishop of Trani in which he attacked the Judaistic practices of the West, namely the use of unleavened bread. The letter was to be sent by John to all the bishops of the West, including the Pope. John promptly complied and the letter was passed to Humbert of Mormitures, the Cardinal Bishop of Silva Candida, who translated the letter into Latin and brought it to the Pope, who ordered a reply to be made to each charge and a defense of papal supremacy to be laid out in a response. Although he was hot-headed, Michael was convinced to cool the debate and thus attempt to prevent the impending breach. However, Humbert and the Pope made no concessions and the former was sent with legatine powers to the imperial capital to solve the questions raised once and for all. Humbert, Frederick of Lorraine, and Peter, Archbishop of Amalfi arrived in April 1054 and were met with a hostile reception, they stormed out of the palace, leaving the papal response with Michael, who in turn was even more angered by their actions. The Patriarch refused to recognize their authority or, practically, their existence. When Pope Leo died on April 19, 1054, the legates authority legally ceased, but they effectively ignored this technicality, in response to Michael refusal to address the issues at hand, the Legatine mission took the extreme measure of entering the Church of the Hagia Sophia during the Divine Liturgy and placing a bull of excommunication on the altar. The events of the East-West Schism are generally dated from the Acts of 1054. However, these events only triggered the beginning of the Schism. 
The full schism was not actually consummated by the seemingly mutual excommunications. The New Catholic Encyclopedia reports that the legates had been careful not to intimate that the bull of excommunication implied a general excommunication of the Byzantine Church. The bull excommunicated only Carularius, Leo of Acreta, and their adherents. Thus, the New Catholic Encyclopedia argues that the dispute need not have produced a permanent schism any more than excommunication of any contumacious bishop. The schism began to develop when all the other Eastern patriarchs supported Carularius. According to the New Catholic Encyclopedia, it was the support of Emperor Michael VI Stratiaticos that impelled them to support Carularius. Some have questioned the validity of the bull on the grounds that Pope Leo IX had died at that time and so the authority of the legates to issue such a bull is unclear. The legates left for Rome two days after issuing the bull of excommunication, leaving behind a city near riot. The patriarch had the immense support of the people against the emperor, who had supported the legates to his own detriment. To assuage popular anger, the bull was burnt, and the legates were anathematized. Only the legates were anathematized and, in this case too, there was no explicit indication that the entire Western Church was being anathematized. In the bull of excommunication issued against Patriarch Michael by the papal legates, one of the reasons cited was the Eastern Church's deletion of the filioque from the original Nicene Creed. In fact, it was precisely the opposite, the Eastern Church did not delete anything. It was the Western Church that added this phrase to the Nicene Constantinopolitan Creed. Even after 1054 friendly relations between East and West continued. The two parts of Christendom were not yet conscious of a great gulf of separation between them. The dispute remained something of which ordinary Christians in East and West were largely unaware. In fact, efforts were made in subsequent centuries by popes and patriarchs to heal the rift between the churches. However, a number of factors and historical events worked to widen the separation over time. Topic. Fall of Constantinople in 1204 and the exile in Nicaea Topic. The Fourth Crusade in agreement for funds attempted to help the deposed Emperor Alexius IV regain his throne. After taking Constantinople, returning Alexius IV to the throne, the revolt against and death of Alexius IV, the Crusaders were left without payment. On 12 April 1204, the Crusaders inflicted a severe sacking on Constantinople for three days, during which many ancient and medieval Roman and Greek works were either stolen or destroyed. Despite their oaths and the threat of excommunication, the Crusaders ruthlessly and systematically violated the city's holy sanctuaries, destroying, defiling, or stealing all they could lay hands on, nothing was spared. It was said that the total amount looted from Constantinople was about 900,000 silver marks. The Venetians received 150,000 silver marks that was their due, while the Crusaders received 50,000 silver marks. A further 100,000 silver marks were divided evenly up between the Crusaders and Venetians. The remaining 500,000 silver marks were secretly kept back by many Crusader knights. Nicetas Choniates gives a vivid account of the sack of Constantinople by the Frankish and Venetian Crusaders of the Fourth Crusade. The Latin soldiery subjected the greatest city in Europe to an indescribable sack. For three days they murdered, raped, looted and destroyed on a scale which even the ancient Vandals and Goths would have found unbelievable. Constantinople had become a veritable museum of ancient and Byzantine art, an emporium of such incredible wealth that the Latins were astounded at the riches they found. Though the Venetians had an appreciation for the art which they discovered they were themselves semi-Byzantines and saved much of it, the French and others destroyed indiscriminately, halting to refresh themselves with wine, violation of nuns, and murder of Orthodox clerics. The Crusaders vented their hatred for the Greeks most spectacularly in the desecration of the greatest church in Christendom. They smashed the silver iconostasis, the icons and the holy books of Hagia Sophia, and seated upon the patriarchal throne a whore who sang coarse songs as they drank wine from the church's holy vessels. The estrangement of East and West, which had proceeded over the centuries, culminated in the horrible massacre that accompanied the conquest of Constantinople. The Greeks were convinced that even the Turks, had they taken the city, would not have been as cruel as the Latin Christians. 
The defeat of Byzantium, already in a state of decline, accelerated political degeneration so that the Byzantines eventually became an easy prey to the Turks. The crusading movement thus resulted, ultimately, in the victory of Islam, a result which was of course the exact opposite of its original intention." Vryanus, Byzantium and Europe, p.152. During this era, Roman Catholic Orthodox relations were at their lowest point, and the retaliation during the massacre of the Latins would solidify the severed ties from the Great Schism that would divide Christianity on a level that would be unseen until the Protestant Reformation. When Pope Innocent III heard of the conduct of his pilgrims, he was filled with shame and strongly rebuked the Crusaders. Meanwhile, the Latin Empire of Constantinople was established, and Byzantine refugees founded their own successor states, the most notable of these being the Empire of Nicaea under Theodore Lascaris a relative of Alexius III, the Empire of Trebizond, and the Despotate of Epirus. The new seat of the Patriarchate was established in the city of Nicaea until in 1261, when Constantinople was reconquered by the Byzantine Emperor Michael VIII Palaiologos. Topic. Fall of Constantinople in 1453 and Ottoman period Topic. After Constantinople was overrun by the Ottoman Turks in 1453, the Patriarchate came to care more directly for all the Orthodox living in the Ottoman Empire. Mehmed II appointed Gennadios II Scholarios as the Patriarch in 1454 and designated him as the spiritual leader as well as the ethnarch or, in Turkish, Milatbashi of all the Orthodox Christians in the Empire, not just those of Greek origin. During this period Bulgarians, Serbs, Albanians of Southern Albania and Greeks of Northern Greece came under the spiritual, administrative, fiscal, cultural and legal jurisdiction of the Patriarchate. Some of the other patriarchs came at various points to live permanently in Constantinople and function as part of the local church government. This situation, according to some of the Orientalists and historians, shows the Pax Ottomana or Pax Ottomanica literally, the Ottoman peace. The Russian Orthodox Church, which for centuries had been a diocese of the Ecumenical Patriarchate, declared its independence in 1448, shortly before Constantinople fell, owing to its protest over the Council of Florence, in which representatives of the Patriarchate had signed on to union with Rome, trading doctrinal concessions for military aid against the encroaching Ottomans. The military aid never came, and those concessions were subsequently repudiated by the Patriarchate, but from 1448, the Russian Church came to function independently. Within decades after the fall of Constantinople to Mehmed II of the Ottoman Empire on 29 May 1453, some were nominating Moscow as the Third Rome, or the New Rome. Two, 141 years later, in 1589, Constantinople came to recognize Russia independence and led the Orthodox Church in declaring Russia also to be a patriarchate, numbering Moscow's bishop as fifth in rank behind the ancient patriarchates. The Russian Orthodox Church became the largest of the Eastern Orthodox Churches in the world. As Ottoman rule weakened, various parts of the Orthodox Church that had been under the direct influence of the ecumenical patriarchate came to be independent. These churches at first usually declared their independence without universal approval, which came after Constantinople gave its blessing. The rate at which these new autocephalous, self-headed, churches came into being increased in the 19th century, particularly with the independence of Greece. In 1833, the Church of Greece declared its autocephaly, which was subsequently recognized by the Patriarchate in 1850. In 1865, the Romanian Orthodox Church, against the protests of Constantinople, declared its independence, which was acknowledged in 1885. A year before Greece's autocephaly was self-proclaimed, the Serbian Orthodox Church was named autocephalous by the local secular government, and Constantinople refused recognition until 1879. In 1860 the Bulgarians de facto seceded from the Great Church and in 1870 the Bulgarian Church was politically recognized as autonomous under the name Bulgarian Exarchate by the Sultan's Furman, although it was not until 1945 that it was recognized by the Ecumenical Patriarchate. In 1922, the Albanian Orthodox Church declared its autocephaly, being granted recognition of it in 1937. In addition to these churches, whose territory had been agreed upon by all as within Constantinople, 
s jurisdiction, several other disputed areas. Orthodox churches have had recognition by the Ecumenical Patriarchate as either autocephalous or autonomous, including the Finnish Orthodox Church and Estonian Orthodox Church in 1923, the Polish Orthodox Church in 1924, the Czech and Slovak Orthodox Church in 1998. The majority of these disputes are a result of the expansion of the Russian Empire, which often included a subjugation of the Orthodox churches in conquered lands to the Moscow Patriarchate. Due to this, the Moscow Patriarchate often disputes the Ecumenical Patriarch's role as prime representative and spiritual leader of the world's Orthodox Christians, citing that it represents the numerically largest Orthodox community. <laughs> Ecclesiastical buildings in Ottoman cities as a ruling institution, the Ottoman Empire brought regulations on how the cities would be built quality reassurances and how the architecture structural integrity, social needs, etc. should be shaped. Special restrictions were imposed concerning the construction, the renovation, the size and the usage of the bells in churches. For example, in a town a church should not be larger in size than the largest mosque. Some churches were destroyed e.g. the Church of the Holy Apostles, many were converted into mosques among them the Hagia Sophia and Cora Church in Constantinople, the Rotunda and Hagios Dimitrios in Thessaloniki or served for other uses e.g. Hagia Irene in Constantinople, which became an armory for the Janissaries, and the Ghoul Mosque Hagia Theodosia or Christ Yurgats, also in Constantinople, which after the conquest served for a while as a naval dockyard. Must also be pointed out that such rules, very strict in the beginning, with time and the increasing importance reached in the Ottoman Empire by the rum millet, were more and more disregarded, so that in the 19th century in Istanbul there was a veritable building boom of Orthodox churches, many among them having high bell towers and brick domes, which previously were both strictly prohibited. <laughs> Patriarchate under the Secular Republic of Turkey Topic. Since 1586 the Ecumenical Patriarchate has had its headquarters in the relatively modest Church of St. George in the Fener Faner district of Istanbul. The current territory of the Patriarchate is significantly reduced from what it was at its height. Its canonical territory currently includes most of modern Turkey, northern Greece and Mount Athos, the Dodecanes and Crete. By its interpretation of Canon 28 of Chalcedon, Constantinople also claims jurisdiction over all areas outside the canonically defined territories of other Orthodox churches, which includes the entire Western Hemisphere, Oceania, the United Kingdom, Western Europe, Northeast Asia, Southeast Asia, and elsewhere. This claim is disputed by other autocephalous churches with dioceses in those areas, as well as the Turkish government. The Orthodox presence in Turkey itself is small, however the majority of Orthodox in North America about two -thirds are under the Ecumenical Patriarchate, primarily in the Greek Orthodox Archdiocese of America. The Patriarchate also enjoys an even greater majority in the United Kingdom. Furthermore, the Albanian, Russian and Ukrainian jurisdictions in America are also part of the Patriarchate. Most of the Patriarchate's funding does not come directly from its member churches but rather from the government of Greece, due to an arrangement whereby the Patriarchate had transferred property it had owned to Greece. In exchange, the employees, including the clergy, of the Patriarchate are remunerated by the Greek government. The Greek Orthodox Archdiocese of America provides substantial support through an annual contribution, known as the Logia, and its institutions, including the American-based Greek Orthodox Ladies Philoptohos Society and the Archons of the Ecumenical Patriarchate, usually important laymen who make large donations for the upkeep of the Patriarchate. In turn, they are granted honorary titles which once belonged to members of the Patriarchal staff in centuries past. The Patriarchate acts in the capacity of being an intermediary and facilitator between the Orthodox churches and also in relations with other Christians and religions. This role sometimes brings the Patriarchate into conflict with other Orthodox churches, as its role in the church is debated. The question centers around whether the Ecumenical Patriarchate is simply the most honored among the Orthodox churches or whether it has any real authority or prerogatives which differ from the other autocephalous churches. 
This dispute is often between Constantinople and Moscow, the largest Orthodox Church in terms of population, especially as expressed in the Third Rome theory which places Moscow in the place of Constantinople as the center of world orthodoxy. Such disputes sometimes result in temporary breaks in full communion, though usually not for very long. The relationship between Constantinople and the Ottoman Empire was frequently bitter, due in no small part to the privilege given to Islam. In the secular Republic of Turkey, tensions are still constant. Turkey requires by law that the Patriarch be a Turkish citizen by birth, which all Patriarchs have been since 1923, though they are all ethnic Greeks from the minuscule and steadily decreasing Greek minority of Turkey which is causing a shortage of priests and consequently potential candidates for the post of Ecumenical Patriarch. The state's expropriation of church property and the closing of the Orthodox Theological School of Halki are also difficulties faced by the Patriarchate. Topic. Administration and structure Topic. Topic. Holy Synod Topic. The affairs of the Patriarchate are conducted by the Holy Synod, presided over by the Ecumenical Patriarch. The Synod has existed since some time prior to the 4th century and assists the Patriarch in determining the affairs of the possessions under his jurisdiction. The Synod first developed from what was referred to as the Resident Synod, composed of the Patriarch, local bishops, and any Orthodox bishops who were visiting in the imperial capital of Constantinople. After the fall of Constantinople, the Synod's membership became limited to bishops of the Patriarchate. The Holy and Sacred Synod is currently composed of the following hierarchs until the end of February each year. His All Holiness Ecumenical Patriarch Bartholomew, presiding Elder Constantine of Nicaea Gregorios of Thyatira and Great Britain Demetrios of Sevastaya Irenaios of Myrophytos and Peristasis Chrysostomos of Myra Dionysios of Synoda Genadios of Sassima Savas of Pittsburgh Polycarpos of Spain and Portugal Stephanos of Caliupolis and Maditos Gerasimos of Petra and Cherenisos Eugenios of Yerapitni and Saitea Notable hierarchs of the Ecumenical Patriarchate are the popular writer Callistos Timothy Ware, an assistant bishop in the Archdiocese of Thyatira, an author of the Orthodox Church, the best-known introduction to the Orthodox Church in English and John Ziziola's Metropolitan of Pergamon, a well-known professor of systematic theology. The right of non-Turkish members of the Synod from Northern Greece, the Dodecanes, America and Western Europe to convene appears to be threatened by a recent declaration from the Istanbul governor reported in the Freiburg Archdiocesan magazine. Topic. Structure Topic. Head of the Patriarchate of Constantinople and of the Holy Synod is the Archbishop of Constantinople, New Rome and Ecumenical Patriarch first among equals, and co-head of state of Mount Athos, Bartholomew I. Dimitrios Archantonis, 1991. The local churches of the Ecumenical Patriarchate consist of six archdioceses, eight churches, and eighteen metropolises, each of which reports directly to the Patriarch of Constantinople with no intervening authority. In addition, three of the six archdioceses have internal metropolises 17 in all, which are part of their respective archdioceses rather than distinct administrative entities, unlike the other metropolises. Two of the churches of the Patriarchate are autonomous, the Finnish Orthodox Church and the Estonian Orthodox Church. <laughs> archdioceses Archbishops and Metropolitans. Archdiocese of Constantinople and New Rome, Patriarchal Diocese Elder Metropolis of Chalcedon, Athanasios Papas 2008. Elder Metropolis of Durkoi, Constantinos III Charizidis Apostolos Danielidis 2011. Metropolis of Imbros and Tenedos, Cyril Dragonis 2002. Metropolis of the Prince's Islands, Iakovos Sophroniadis 2002. Greek Orthodox Archdiocese of Crete Heraklion, Arenaios Athanasiadis 2006 Metropolis of Gortina and Arcadia and Exarchate of Middle Crete, Makarios Doulufakis 2005 
Metropolis of Rethymnon and Avlopotamos and Exarchate of Upper Crete, Evgenios Evangelos Antonopoulos 2010, former Bishop of the Diocese of Gnosis Metropolis of Kidonia and Apokoronos, Damaskinos Papagianicus 2006, Metropolis of Lampi, Sivritos, and Sphakia, Arinaios Nikolaos Masarchakis 1990, Metropolis of Yerapitna and Saitea and Exarchate of Eastern Crete, Evgenios Michael Paulitis 1994, Metropolis of Petra and Cherenisos, Nectarios Papadakis 1990-2015, Gerasimos 2015, Metropolis of Kisamos and Salino, Amphilashos Andronikakis 2005, Metropolis of Archilochorion, Castellian and Vianos, Andreas Nanakis 2001, Greek Orthodox Archdiocese of Italy and Melite and Exarchate of Southern Europe Venice, Gennadios Sabikos Zervos 1996 Greek Orthodox Archdiocese of Thyatera and Great Britain London, includes the UK and Ireland, Grigorios Theocharis 1988 1 Greek Orthodox Archdiocese of Australia Sydney, Stylianos Harkianakis 1975 Greek Orthodox Archdiocese of America and Exarchate of the Atlantic and Pacific Oceans, Dimitrios Trakatelis Archdiocese is headquartered in New York City Archdiocesan District and Holy Seat Metropolis of Chicago, Nathaniel Simeonides 2018. Metropolis of New Ierusia, Evangelos Kourounis 2003. Metropolis of Atlanta, Alexios Panagiotopoulos 1999. Metropolis of Denver, Isaiah Chronopolis 1992. Metropolis of Pittsburgh, Savas Zembilis 2012. Metropolis of Boston, Methodios Georgios Tornas 1984. Metropolis of Detroit, Nicholas Pisaris 1999. Metropolis of San Francisco, Gerasimos Michaelis 2005. Topic: Titular Archdiocese and Archbishops. Topic. Archdiocese of Kamana and All Cappadocia, Gabriel Guido de Vilder 2003 Archdiocese of Hierapolis, Antonios Sarba 1995 -present. Archdiocese of Thyatira, Gregorios Theocharis Dodecanese metropolises and metropolitans Metropolis of Carpathos and Kassos, Ambrosios Panagiotidis 1983. Metropolis of Kos and Nisiros, Nathaniel II, Philippos Diakopanagiotis 2009. Metropolis of Leros, Calumnus and Astypalaea and Exarchate of the Southern Sparides, Pisios Panagiotis Aravantinos 2005. Metropolis of Rhodes, Sci. Ril II Constantinos Kogarakis 2004. Metropolis of Syme, Chrysostomos Ioannis Dimitriadis 2004. Patriarchal Exarchate of Patmos, Antipas Nicotaris 2000. Topic. Other metropolises and metropolitans Topic. In Europe Metropolis of Austria and Exarchate of Hungary and Middle Europe Vienna, Arsenios Cardamacus 2011. Metropolis of Belgium and Netherlands and Exarchate of the Low Countries and Luxembourg Brussels, Athenagoras YVE, Pextet 2013 Metropolis of France Paris, Emmanuel Adamakis 2003 Metropolis of Germany Bonn, Augustinos Labradakis 1980 Metropolis of Sweden and all Scandinavia and Exarchate of the Northern Countries Stockholm, Cleopas Strongylus 2014 Metropolis of Spain and Portugal, Madrid, Polycarpos, Panagiotis, Stavropolis, 2007. Metropolis of Switzerland, Chambezi, Geneva, Eremias, Periscos, Caligiorgis, 2003. In the Americas. Metropolis of Buenos Aires and Exarchate of all South America, Terrasios, Petros, Antonopolis, 2001. Metropolis of Toronto and all Canada, Soterios Athanasoulis, 1979. Metropolis of Mexico and Exarchate of all Central America and the Caribbean, Athenagoras Georgios Anastasiadis 1996 in Asia and Oceania 
Metropolis of Hong Kong and Southeast Asia and Exarchate of the Philippines, Nectarios 2008. Metropolis of Korea and Exarchate of all the Upper East Korean Orthodox Church, Seoul, Ambrosios Aristideles Zagraphis 2008. Metropolis of New Zealand and Exarchate of all Oceania Wellington, Amphilikios Adamantios Sokos 2005. Metropolis of Singapore and South Asia, Constantinos Silis Autonomous churches archbishops and bishops. Topic. Archdiocese of Helsinki and all Finland Finnish Orthodox Church, Helsinki, Leo Makonen 2001. Metropolis of Kuopio and Karelia, vacant Metropolis of Aulu, Ilia Mati Walgren 2015. Bishop of Joensuu, Vicar Bishop of the Archdiocese of Karelia, in Kuopio, Arseni Jorma Haikonen 2005. Archdiocese of Tallinn and all Estonia Estonian Apostolic Orthodox Church, Stefanos Karolambidis 1999. Diocese of Parnu and Sarama, Aleksandros Hopjorski 2009. Diocese of Tartu, Elias Ot Ojaperv 2009. Other dioceses outside Turkey and Greece Albanian Orthodox Diocese of America, Boston, Bishop of Philomelian Elias Cater, 2002. American Carpatho-Russian Orthodox Diocese, Johnstown, Pennsylvania, Bishop of Nyssa Gregory, Tatsis, 2012. Ukrainian Orthodox Church of Western Europe. Diocese of London, Bishop of Kratia Andrea, Theodosios Pesco, 2005. Diocese of Western Europe, Ghent, Bishop of Parnassus John Derevianka, 1991. Ukrainian Orthodox Metropolis of Canada, Ukrainian Orthodox Church of Canada, and formerly Ukrainian Greek Orthodox Church of Canada, Metropolitan Urij, 2010. Archdiocese of Winnipeg and Central Canada, Metropolitan Urij, 2010. Diocese of Toronto and Eastern Canada, vacant, Administrator, Bishop Andrew Peshko of Kratia Diocese of Edmonton and Western Canada, Bishop Hilarion Rudnick 2008. Ukrainian Orthodox Church of the USA, Metropolitan of Hierapolis Antony Sharba 2012. Diocese of Central Eparchy Parma, Ohio, Metropolitan's Diocese Diocese of Eastern Eparchy, New York City, Archbishop of Hierapolis Antonios Sharba, 1995. Diocese of Western Eparchy, Chicago, Bishop of Pamphilos Daniel Zielinski, 2009. Diocese of South America, Curitiba, Bishop of Aspendos Jeremy Ferens, 1993. Archdiocese of Russian Orthodox Churches in Western Europe, Exarchate for Orthodox Parishes of Russian Tradition in Western Europe, Paris, Archbishop Job Getcha of Tilmesos, 2013. Topic: Mount Athos. Topic. Topic: Titular Metropolises in Turkey. Topic: Elder Metropolis of Caesarea, vacant. Elder Metropolis of Ephesus, vacant. Elder Metropolis of Heraclea and Exarchate of Thrace, vacant. Elder Metropolis of Cyzicus, vacant. Elder Metropolis of Nicomedia, Joachim Elias Narantazoulis, 2008, former Metropolitan of Chalcedon. Elder Metropolis of Nicaea and Exarchate of Bithynia, John V. Rinne, 2001 to 2010, former Archbishop of Karelia and all Finland, Konstantinos Charizidis, 2011. Metropolis of Enos, vacant. Metropolis of Amasia and Exarchate of all Johannes Pontus, vacant. Metropolis of Amesis, Nicholas Smisko, 1997 to 2011. Metropolis of Hadrianopolis, Damaskinos Papandreou, 2003 to 2014, former Metropolitan of Switzerland, Amphilashos Stergio, 2014. Metropolis of Ania, vacant. Metropolis of Ankara and Exarchate of all Galatia, vacant. Metropolis of Augustopolis, vacant. Metropolis of Chaldea, Chariana and Karasu and Exarchate of Helenopontus, vacant Metropolis of Colonia, vacant 
Metropolis of Krine and Exarchate of Ionia, vacant Metropolis of Sidonis, vacant Metropolis of the Dardanelles and Exarchate of All Hellespontus, Nikitas Lulius 2007, former Metropolitan of Hong Kong and East Asia Metropolis of Eucarpia, vacant Metropolis of Eukaida, vacant Metropolis of Eudoxias, vacant Metropolis of Ganos and Kora and all the Thracian coast, Amphilashos Sokos 2018. Metropolis of Heliopolis and Thera and Exarchate of all Caria, vacant Metropolis of Helenopolis, vacant Metropolis of Colonia, vacant Metropolis of Iconium and Exarchate of Lycaonia, Theoleptos Jacob Fenerlis 2000. Metropolis of Calipolis and Matitos, Stephanos Nanaitis 2011. Metropolis of Laodicea and Exarchate of Phrygia, vacant Metropolis of Lalitsa, vacant Metropolis of Lystra, Kalinikos Simeon Alexandridis 1985, former Metropolitan of Prince's Islands Metropolis of Meters and Athira, vacant Metropolis of Miletine, vacant Metropolis of Miletus, Apostolos Vulgaris 1990. Metropolis of Mashonesia and Exarchate of Aeolus, Apostolos Danielidis 2000 Metropolis of Myra, Chrysostomos Kalatsis 1995. Metropolis of Myriophyton and Peristasis, Irenaios Ioannidis 2000. Metropolis of Neocaesarea and Exarchate of Pontus Polemoniacus, vacant Metropolis of Pergamon and Adramitian, John II Zeziolas 1986. Metropolis of Purge and Exarchate of Pamphylia, Evangelos Galanis 1970. Metropolis of Philadelphia and Exarchate of Lydia, Meliton Dimitrios Caras 1990. Metropolis of Pisidia and Exarchate of Side, Myra and Italia, Sotirios Trombus 2008, former Metropolitan of Korea and Japan Metropolis of Prokinesos and Exarchate of All Propontis, Joseph Emmanuel Charchialakis 2008, former Metropolitan of New Zealand Metropolis of Prousa, Elpidiporos Lambriniadis 2011. Metropolis of Rhodopolis, vacant Metropolis of Saranta Ecclesis, vacant Metropolis of Sardis, vacant Metropolis of Sassima and Cappadocia Secunda, Gennadios Limoris 1997. Metropolis of Sebastia and Exarchate of All Paphlagonia, Dimitrios Kamatas 1990. Metropolis of Seleucia and Pamphylia, vacant Metropolis of Silivria, Maximos Vigenopolis 2014. Metropolis of Smyrna and Exarchate of All Asia Minor, Bartholomeos Samaris 2016. Metropolis of Traianopolis, Germanos Chaviaropolis 1987. Metropolis of Trapezus and Exarchate of Lazica, vacant Metropolis of Troas, vacant Metropolis of Tyana, Pisios Emmanuel, 1998. Metropolis of Tyroloi and Sorrentian, Pantalaimon Evangelos Rhodopolis 1977. Metropolis of Bizai and Medea, vacant Metropolis of Ryula and Erythrae, Epiphanios Constantinos Periolis 2007, former Metropolitan of Spain and Portugal Topic. Metropolises of the New Lands in Greece Topic. The New Lands canonical territory, located in northern Greece and in the major islands in the north and northeast Aegean, became part of the modern Greek state only after the Balkan Wars. However, most of its dioceses are de facto administered as part of the Church of Greece for practical reasons except the Dodecanese, under an agreement between the churches of Athens and Constantinople. Metropolis of Alexandropolis, Anthemos Kokoridis 2004. Metropolis of Chios, Sara and Inusas, Marcos Basilakis 2011. Metropolis of Didymotichon and Oresteas, Damaskinos Minos Carpathicus 1995. Metropolis of Drama, Paulos Alexandros Apostolitis 2005. Metropolis of Dryanupolis, Pagoniani and Konitsa, Andreas Trempolis 1995. Metropolis of Edessa, Pella and Almopia, Joel Panagiotis Frankakos 2002. Metropolis of Elisona, Basilios Colocus 1995. Metropolis of Eleftheropolis, Chrysostomos Abagianos 2004. 
Metropolis of Florina, Priests and Ordea, Theoclitos Thomas Pasalis 2000. Metropolis of Gemenisa, Akshupali and Polycastro, Dimitrios Bekiaris 1989. Metropolis of Grevina, Sergios Sigalis 1976. Metropolis of Irisos, Mount Athos and Artemary, Nicodemos and Agnosto 1981. Metropolis of Yanina, Theoclitos Satakis 1975. Metropolis of Cassandria, Nicodemos, Constantinos, Coracus, 2001. Metropolis of Castoria, Seraphim, Ioannis, Papakostas, 1996. Metropolis of Kitros, Katerini and Platamonas, Agathonikos, Georgios, Nicolaou, 1985. Metropolis of Langadas, Liti and Rentina, Ioannis Tassius, 2010. Metropolis of Lemnos and Agios Estratios, Hierathios Garifalos, 1988. Metropolis of Moronia and Komotini, Damaskinos Rumeliotis 1974. Metropolis of Midhymna, Chrysostomos Kalamatianos 1984. Metropolis of Mytilene, Arizos and Plamari, Iacobos Cleombrotos 1988. Metropolis of Neapolis and Stavropolis, Barnabas Tiras 2004. Metropolis of Nea Crini and Calamaria, Procopios Georgiantopoulos 1974. Metropolis of Nea Zichni and Nevrokopion, Hierathios Dimitrios Soliakos 2003. Metropolis of Nicopolis and Perveza, Melitios Calamaris 1980. Metropolis of Paramythia, Filiates, Girimeri and Parga, Titos Soterios Paponikos 1974. Metropolis of Philippi, Neapolis and Thassos, Procopios Sakumakis 1974. Metropolis of Pauliani and Kilkis, Emmanuel Sigalis 2009. Metropolis of Samos and Acaria, Eusebios Evangelos Pistolis 1995. Metropolis of Serre and Nigrida, Theologos Ioannis Apostolitis 2001. Metropolis of Servia and Kozani, Paulos Papalekshu 2004. Metropolis of Sidorokastron, Makarios Soterios Philotheu 2001. Metropolis of Sisanyan and Syadista, Paulos 2006. Metropolis of Thessaloniki, Anthemos Dionysios Rusos 1974. Metropolis of Viria and Naousa, Pantalimon Ioannis Kalpaitis 1994. Metropolis of Xanthi and Parathiorian, Pantalimon Mikhail Kalifatis 1995. Topic. Titular dioceses and bishops Topic. Diocese of Abydos, Kyrillus Katerilos 2008. Diocese of Amorian, Ioannis Kalagericus Diocese of Andadon, Christophoros Rakonzakis Diocese of Apamea, Vicentios Vasilios Malamatinios Diocese of Arianzos, Vartholomeos Ioannis. Kesitis 2004. Diocese of Ariste, Vasilios Siapanas 1976. Diocese of Aspendos, Jeremy Ferenc 1995. Diocese of Claudiopolis, Michael Storichenko 1995. Diocese of Christopolis, Vacancy Diocese of Diaclea, Callistos Ware 1982. Diocese of Dorylium, Nicodros Nicolaus Palabos 2001. Diocese of Eumenea, Maximos Ioannis Mastihis 1977. Diocese of Halicarnassus, Emmanuel Alevrofas 2005 to 2010. Diocese of Irinopolis, Constantinos Bugan 1995. Diocese of Cratia, Andrea Theodosios Pesco 2005. Diocese of Lampsacus, Makarios Pavlos Pavlidis 1985. Diocese of Lefki, Eumenios Tamialakis 1994. Diocese of Maloa, Philotheos Diocese of Mokissus, Dimitrios Katsavelos 2006. Diocese of Olympos, Anthemos Drakonakis 1992. Diocese of Pamphilos, Daniel Zielinski 2008. Diocese of Parnassus, John Derevianka 1995. Diocese of Phasian, Antonios Paropolis 2002. Diocese of Philomelian, Elias Cater 2002. Diocese of Sinop. 
Diocese of Sinata, Dionysios Carolampus Sakatis Diocese of Tilmesos, Alarion Roman Rudnik 2008 Diocese of Theopolis, Pantalimon Sklavos 1972 Diocese of Troas, Savas Zembilas 2002 to 2012 Diocese of Tropion, Athanasios Theocharis 1997 Diocese of Zelen, Sevastianos 2012 Topic. Historical metropolises and dioceses Topic. Archdiocese of Syracuse Metropolis of Calabria Metropolis of Gothia and Kaffa disestablished 1779 Metropolis of Devron and Velissus, under jurisdiction of the Ecumenical Patriarchate from 1767 to 1920 Metropolis of Nevrokopion Metropolis of Colonia Metropolis of Kiev, Halych, and all Ruthenia, Exarchate of Ukraine 1620-1686, Patriarch Dionysus IV of Constantinople sold it to Moscow Patriarchate for 200 Chervenetsi and 120 sables Metropolis of Kiev 988-1596, Union of Brest Metropolis of Halych 1303-1347, succeeded and reintegrated back into Metropolis of Kiev Metropolis of Lithuania 1317-1435, succeeded and reintegrated back into Metropolis of Kiev Metropolis of Miletopolis, Iakobos Kogara 2011. Metropolis of Melanikon Metropolis of Monasterion and Pelagonia, under jurisdiction of the Ecumenical Patriarchate from 1767 to 1920 Metropolis of Philippopolis Metropolis of Ankylos Metropolis of Priests and Akrita, under jurisdiction of the Ecumenical Patriarchate from 1767 to 1920 Metropolis of Raskaprizrina, under jurisdiction of the Ecumenical Patriarchate from 1766 to 1920 Metropolis of Riga and all Latvia Metropolis of Skopje, under jurisdiction of the Ecumenical Patriarchate from 1766 to 1920 Metropolis of Sozopolis and later Sozoagathopolis Metropolis of Stromnitsa, under jurisdiction of the Ecumenical Patriarchate from 1767 to 1920 Metropolis of Vanyaluka, under jurisdiction of the Ecumenical Patriarchate from 1900 to 1920 Metropolis of Varna Metr. Opolis of Velgraden, under jurisdiction of the Ecumenical Patriarchate from 1766 to 1879 Metropolis of Nisa, under jurisdiction of the Ecumenical Patriarchate from 1766 to 1879 Metropolis of Vasna, under jurisdiction of the Ecumenical Patriarchate from 1766 to 1920 Metropolis of Svanikion, under jurisdiction of the Ecumenical Patriarchate from 1766 to 1920 Diocese of Agia and Sikorion Diocese of Agrafa and Lidza Diocese of Amphipolis Diocese of Amalsi Diocese of Christianopolis Diocese of Angan Diocese of Argyropolis Diocese of Agathopolis Diocese of Agathonisia Diocese of Catania Diocese of Constantia Diocese of Daphnusia Diocese of Dodona Diocese of Elia Diocese of Campania Diocese of Malo Diocese of Messene Diocese of Myrina Diocese of Nyssa Diocese of Petra Diocese of Platamon and Lycostomian Diocese of Ravenna Diocese of Scopelos Diocese of Talanchon Diocese of Thermia and Caia Diocese of Trachea Diocese of Vilna Topic. Autocephalous churches formerly under the Ecumenical Patriarchate Topic. Bulgarian Orthodox Church, autocephaly granted in 927, autocephaly re-recognized in 1235 and 1945. Russian Orthodox Church, autocephaly recognized in 1589, split from Constantinopolitan Orthodoxy on 15 October 2018. 
Church of Greece, Archdiocese of Athens and All Greece, autocephaly recognized in 1850. Serbian Orthodox Church, autocephaly granted in 1219, abolished in 1463 and 1766, re-recognized in 1557 and 1879. Romanian Orthodox Church, autocephaly recognized in 1885. Polish Orthodox Church Warsaw, autocephaly recognized in 1924 by the Ecumenical Patriarchate of Constantinople and in 1948 by the Russian Orthodox Church. Orthodox Autocephalous Church of Albania Archdiocese of Tirana, Duras and All Albania, autocephaly recognized in 1937. Czech and Slovak Orthodox Church Metropolis of Prague, Czech lands and Slovakia, autocephaly recognized in 1951 by the Russian Orthodox Church and in 1998 by the Ecumenical Patriarchate of Constantinople. Ukrainian Orthodox Church, intention to grant autocephaly announced in 2018. References Citations Sources This article incorporates text from several articles on OrthodoxWiki Orthodox Wiki, Byzantine response to OCA autocephaly. Orthodox Wiki, Church of Constantinople. Orthodox Wiki, Mount Athos. Orthodox Wiki, Prerogatives of the Ecumenical Patriarchate. Topic, Literature. Topic, Stephen, 1985. The Great Church in Captivity, a study of the Patriarchate of Constantinople from the eve of the Turkish conquest to the Greek War of Independence. Cambridge University Press. Mayendorf, John Imperial Unity and Christian Divisions, The Church 450–680 AD. The Church in History. 2. Crestwood, N.Y., St. Vladimir's Seminary Press. ISBN 978-0-88-141056-3. Mayendorf, John Rome, Constantinople, Moscow, Historical and Theological Studies. Crestwood, N.Y., St. Vladimir's Seminary Press. Kiminas, Demetrius The Ecumenical Patriarchate, A History of Its Metropolitanates with Annotated Hierarch Catalogues. Wildside Press LLC. Cursor, V. Jaron Non-Muslim Communal Divisions and Identities in the Early Modern Ottoman Balkans and the Millet System Theory. Power and Influence in Southeastern Europe, 16th–19th century. Berlin, Lit Verlag. pp. 97–108. Thomas, John P. Private Religious Foundations in the Byzantine Empire. Washington, D.C., Dumbarton Oaks. Topic. External links Topic. Official website Patriarchs of Constantinople Article on the Ecumenical Patriarchate by Ronald Roberson on the website of CNEWA, a papal agency for humanitarian and pastoral support.